Okay, this is uh, Tuesday, December uh, 19th. We'll call the meeting to order. Our first matter is a public hearing. This is the Graves application, 123 Random Farms Drive. This is an application for a site development plan approval to replace and expand a deck into the clearing and grading limit lines and the removal of a basketball court, which has already been removed. Um, so, anyway, Wally, I think you have some yes. uh, different drawings. Yes, I do. Now, uh, this is fairly unusual. We had, obviously, a very unusual situation last week. And uh, I understand that uh, this material just came in yesterday or so. Uh, obviously, well outside, well outside our usual uh, standards. But nonetheless, because of the usual, unusual situation that we've had, uh, we were hoping to be at this position two weeks ago. Uh, we, we, we bent the rules here to accommodate uh, everyone to see if we can't uh, move this thing right. so what, what has happened is I've already made all the necessary copies for the town, which I'll give I have 12 copies. I'll give yep. that out tomorrow. You can, uh, would you use the microphone? Oh, sorry. Of course. Yeah, I will distribute you can the, it can take, the 12 copies. Yeah, you can take it off. It's all right. Yeah. I will distribute the 12 copies uh, tomorrow. Right. But in the meantime, the site plan is essentially the same. The only thing that's changed is we've increased the size of the grading limit line. And I'll let, I'll let Joe Link, uh, who did this drawing, take it over and describe how we Great. went about it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Joe Link. Um, so, you know, based on the, the, um, the meeting we had uh, about a month ago, um, we, we kind of um, got some feedback from the town and, you know, discussed where the best place to put the uh, clearing and grading limit line. I mean, my the reason behind what we did was the old one was just right up against the back of the house. I'm sure you're all aware of where the previous one was. I mean, there's very little ample room for, for anything to be done in, in, in that aspect. Um, and then with the expansion of this deck and then having us reevaluate where, where the clearing and grading limit not, line needed to go, uh, our, our best... I think Avenue was to keep it along the wetland limit line that has now been, uh, you know, established from the wetlands, and then, <laughs> and then coming off of that wetland limit line, or I should say that hundred foot buffer line, you know, we, we kind of kept it along a visual identification mark that's out there. It's roughly it's the edge of the edge of that uh, grass line that's been manicured. You know, it, it's been well established. Um, and just a couple of other uh, kind of visual points out there. So either you or me or anybody else going out there can, can pretty much identify approximately where this, this clearing and graining limit line is. Um, I think that would be the best scenario for both, you know, the town going out there and visually looking at something and being not, not that it's running somewhere arbitrary in the middle of a lawn, um, you have some valid points that you can you can pick up and, and use for the, that clearing and grading limit line, um, and then again, you know, having it then some, some extra area there in, in the in the rear the rear yard. Okay, and I think when we last left this, we were I think the board was um, uh, moving toward the uh, position where we were going to remove the 75 or 70 foot uh, buffer area. Uh, I think we had discussed that and we thought that it was really not necessary going forward, but the clearing grading limit line was something that we would want to see. And then at some point when this, when we agree on it, that would be something that we would have to, you know, have it mapped out and then marked up and, and, and set up uh, and then recorded. So, um, that's good. No? That, that sounds uh, sounds great. I think we've made some good progress here. Um, and it seems to be uh, a, a line that makes good sense based on you know uh, the configuration of the property, the protection of the wetlands and the buffer up there, which is uh, very important. So that, that looks good. Um, do we have comments? I know Bob and Sabrina, you just just saw this very recently. I don't know if you've had, and Dennis, if you've had a chance to look at it. I, Dennis, I know that there's information here regarding the planting plan and. So um, maybe you should weigh in on this. Sabrina, want to go first? And, uh, sure. Uh, I, you know, as, as far as the line, line, I think it's really up to the planning board to approve the line that you're, you're happy with. If you're okay with what is being presented now, I myself have not had an opportunity to, to really look at it, but it, it is a decision for the planning board. I would like to make you aware that um, in any event, the 70-foot... 
buffer that is required for the subdivision um, is no longer existent. So whichever approval you issue, you will have to specifically state that um, because that was an imposed buffer via the subdivision approval. So we would have to actually have that demapped, right, and, and taken off of the parcel. And, and your resolution would have to include that specific relief. Good. Okay. Yeah, no. that, that is the only thing, and th that I would you know advise you to do if you you know at the point you're ready to approve this. Uh, but most importantly, to uh, you know for you all to agree to approve to change the clearing and rating limit line to what is being proposed tonight. And obviously, you know people on the screen cannot see that map. Um, you know, I did skim through the information that was emailed today, but again, it hasn't gone through specific staff review, so right. it's on the shoulders to approve if you okay. choose to do so. It, just if can I can, can comment you explain, real quick. You said that the buffer um, is the buffer, you said the buffer is no longer in existence. What happened to the buffer? Well, what, we're, what we're proposing, I think, is that we're going to uh, have it removed from your parcel so it no longer will um, be a constraint on, on the parcel. Yeah, so you had, a, as part of the subdivision approval, Mr. Graves, there was a 70 foot buffer. Um, on two, on two sides of your property that face the, re the residences across the street. That has since disappeared from your property based on tree storms, trees falling down, things that you have told us about, and the current state of your property. It's no longer planted 70 feet back. So the planning board, by approving this existing site plan, will be removing that line from your property. And, and that line is, I, I, I see what you put up here. Uh, that line is not represented on your plan. It's not on the plan. Okay. okay. So okay. that other line is the, is the, uh, no, it, it, it's, 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 it's on the plan. Yeah. It is. Here. Joe, use the point. It's the plan. It's the 70 foot line? Yeah, it's, it's yeah. marked on there, but. You press it's not, they just marked up. Do you need to be a clear rating that they want to get? Show. That's yeah, that's the clearing and grading limit line. That's, that's not what I'm right. referring that's, to. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's also the buffer line. That's the buffer line right there. That's not, that's not, that's not the buffer only. line on the subdivision approval. That's the buffer that you're adhering to. There's an Correct. encumbrance on the lot that exceeds. Like, you're, you, you've, you've done work within the buffer. Correct. And you're seeking approval. To, to remove that as an encumbrance on the lot. That's right. what you're asking for. It has to be granted. Just for everyone's information, I showed the yellow guys. Yeah. That's, That's the, the old buffer. buffer. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And the red is the new and improved, clear and grading now, in which that yellow line is going to be totally eliminated from the map to the surveillance point. Yep. Correct. Okay. And, okay. And, Thank and, you. And that yellow line is also the current clearing and grading limit line, correct? That is correct, sir. So th those are one and the same. Yes, sir. That is correct. Thank you, Bob, for your drawing skills. Yeah, it's really helpful. I like to draw. Yes. <laughs> so, so if, I'm, if I'm correct, and I forget who was that showed this before, the original clearing and grading line, that yellow line that you, you have put in there, um, uh, ran through all the other properties, and, went in, and so in some ways, these lines were running to the properties if you will across the street to my left, not across the street, but on the other side of Van Farms, as well as going up High Hill Road to my neighbors to the right, and was running through every so this this original one which before anyone put homes in all the above was there. I think the buffer line was that was that was put in by the planning board at that time, which was along the backyards of every perimeter line that was there. Correct. Yeah, that line was there. 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 Yes, all the parameter lots. Well, this, this lot is a peninsula, actually, which makes it even more complicated. That's a very good point. And, and I don't know where else we have uh, peninsula housing, but it, it um, to me, you know, when you add the two upper lines, you know, uh, one in the back of the house and one in the front of the house, how it barely fits in between the gap. And so there's no, there's, there's nothing 
there that allows them to do something other than the buffer lines, which makes in a peninsula like this, I think it makes it really ridiculous, <laughs> given all the other work that's put in and put in. So, so given that it's a peninsula, given that nature knocked down a whole bunch of trees and everything, I think the redoing of all of this is on the right line. Right. I, I, I think, Dick, your, your point is terrific because uh, we, I think we recognized when we first looked at this application that these lines really operated as a hardship on the, the applicant if, if, um, if, in fact, he abided by these lines. It was just very, very difficult and, and, and constrained them uh, very significantly. And I think in an earlier discussion, the board recognized the, uh, the lack of reality Connected with a 75 foot buffer when uh, everything, 70 foot buffer is a 75. 75. 75. So, um, you know, it's, uh, we, we recognize that it was not really serving a purpose anymore. It had been, um, it wasn't being used, it wasn't being observed. And, uh, and not to be, uh, uh, not to impose further constraints on the applicant, uh, I think we, we decided that that would be something that would. Uh, would be good to uh, take off and, and remove this encumbrance. But the clearing grading limit line is, is a separate issue, and, um, and that's what we're talking about right now. So the good news is, you know, the, the buffer line is, is I think, uh, we're proposing that we'll, we'll be uh, removing it. And then the um, um, clearing grading limit line is, is the discussion for this evening. Uh, Bob, did you have, <coughs> excuse me, any questions? Um, my, my comments were mentioned last time. Basically, I just had uh, mapping comments which seem to be addressed. Uh, these are conditions that are all simply be put in the resolution. Obviously, to the surveillance point, to the attorney's point, this special wording has to be put into the resolution to abandon previously approved buffer line, buffer area. And obviously, they have filed a new map as well. You just wish on the old map that's got to now amend it, memorialize it as well. And I kind of looked at the clear and ready real quick. I mean, the planning board makes the final determination. It doesn't seem to be the main good faith effort to bring in a little bit more than what it once was shown previously. And those are my comments. Great. Dennis, you had some thoughts, comments? Hopefully you had time to take a look at this. Yeah, I think um, from my uh, prior memo uh, written, there was an attempt made, uh, to add, I guess, the um, or update the tree table to be more specific as to what the trees were. And then, based on your description, Joseph, you're saying that the trees are, in essence, to the one side of that line, for lack of a better description, and then the other side currently is lawn. So that, that captures that. So that was one, one comment I had made. I just wanted more specific information and from the looks of it from here, looking at the table, and I got to see the uh, printouts that you PDF. That's what I was talking about. I saw species that were specific. I saw measurements, and so that's, that's fine. So that's how I spun that. And I think I had a couple of grammatical type comments with respect, I think, to the, to the planting plan, because there's going to be the restoration that's going to occur. In the, in the bubble. Okay. Okay, there, were, there, were, there were minor, there were, there were minor comments, but I just, uh, I know from just looking even at the draft resolution that that's still on the table. Is my, is my point. The uh, in the hundred foot buffer, wetlands buffer. There was going to be like a restorative plantings and, and whatnot to yeah. occur in that area. Yes, so I, I just had some minor comments with respect to that, that plan. They were like grammatical in, in some ways. So other than that, I no, no no additional comments. Okay, but you're comfortable we could condition those changes, Dennis, in, in the resolution? Yes, absolutely. Okay, yeah. terrific. Yeah. One other thing that had been mentioned in the prior meeting by uh, Tom Curley, said that, and I agree with that, the, the, the grading and limit line should be, have stones placed along the, the uh, line, you know, maybe 20 feet apart or something like that, and not meant to break uh, down 
you know, know lawn mowers or anything, anything but, but just, you know, kind of ground them at the ground level to make sure to remind people in the future, you know, where the, that line is. Is that not what you have shown on the drawing? Well, uh, I don't have any. Yeah, I don't have any monuments or. Yeah, I, I, we we basically just kind of used some some known aspects of some trees and stuff. There's no physical stones out there as of yet that that we could you know, mark I, I, over. Or show. I think that we were, what we were talking about what we were talking about is that this area in here would be left to grow wild. So now that it's, right. you're mowing the lawn here, the grass is going to grow that high here. You wouldn't very clearly know where the line is because of the way the grass grows. Right, but the subsequent owner would be burdened by that, and they should know where they have to stop mowing. Yeah. Right, right. so right. if they're going to approve a plan, there should the be something that said, <laughs> there, should, there should be some monument grounding where the, where the 15 yeah. feet, where the 30 feet, or where... I'm kind of stuck as to what no. might be a good idea. But no, there, there's, there's no. I mean, we could, we could put some sort. No, we, we could use some stones, stone size I mean, boulders. If we yeah, have nothing, yeah. Some, 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 some sort of even flagstones, yeah. or if we had to even put some, some, but, some, some the, small monuments, and we could do that. The, 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 the line, the line is, is it's drawn out. The red line is drawn out. It is buttressed up against the the, 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 the trees and the bed that already exist. From random farms all the way down uh, along Route 133 and through much of Hog Hill. The first time is not against the actual tree line and the beds, it is just the, the, the last part that's kind of bowed out to the right. So if there were going to be stones or whatever that would be put out, it would be put out at that point. But the other ones, there would be no need to do that because the lawn runs right up to the to the, the tall trees that have been planted and all the above. I know that everybody can't see this, but you can see that what we're talking about is that. Yeah, no, the, the it actual would green. Yeah. But council's council's point is that these things change, especially with ownership. Yeah, no, I'm, I don't have a problem. And I think I, again, I not to you know no, make I, this an elaborate I, system. And I think what, I think you're you're proposing to do that for the wetland buffer as well, right on the northeast we, we, corner. We've we've already marked out the wetland. <clears throat> right. We've, we've set some in that area flush with the grass, um, so yeah. that whatever planting needs to go on, right. uh, you know, the landscapers know where it ends, right. where it starts and where it right. ends. I mean, and just not to interrupt, but right, so Mr. Graves has a good point that, you know, what is like established and mature definitely gives off a different uh, visual right. to, you know, someone with earphones and a riding mower, you know, versus when you just plant something that doesn't quite show and it just looks like oh that's a weed growing in the lawn and you know so even you know for your own benefit because obviously there's going to be expenditure to to install this you know you want to sort of protect those plantings from that accidental occurrence you know potentially and also um uh, i haven't we just got the resolution tonight did we put something in the resolution? Because, again, we've talked about this before where uh, the owner has the ability once or twice, three times a year, whatever it is, to, to maintain the area, so clear vines, clear the cut. Is, is, is it in here? Uh, I don't know if we got that far. But anticipating <laughs> approval. I think it would be a good idea to put it in. I, would, I, I think it would be a very good idea. I think it's a very fair thing to do so that you are able to maintain it so it doesn't become so, overgrown, weedy uh, thing with vines. So if you, item 13 is submission of five-year maintenance and monitoring plan for trees, shrubs, and ground cover plant installations that follow town protocols and is satisfied for the community coordinator. So those types of um, measures, adaptive management, you would include that in that plan. Okay. That's fine. So we actually we're inviting you to do that. Yeah. So we, we yeah. 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 If we could get that, you know, yeah. it would be two, whatever you feel two or three times whatever works with the town, that we can go in there and, like you said, main, maintain the the weeds and you know. I think we're flexible with whatever you guys need. So if it's three times, that's fine. I, I don't. You know, this is not an three, attempt to to burden you. It's right. Just no, a, three three times we would we would yeah. prefer uh, the three times. I think that's I think that makes good sense. Yep. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay with that? Yeah. Okay. I, I just have one question as uh, when we talk about this old line going away, would that happen on all the pyramidal lots or whenever it comes up? Like, how are we addressing that issue? Well, we're not addressing any other lot. 
right but, now. But uh, okay. anticipating if someone came forward with an application with another lot, that might very well happen because okay. um, we might have that situation. Okay. Uh, but I think in this particular case, I think Dick has really hit something. Uh, yeah, that caused a, a special hardship on this is. lot with these lines and having you know it's it's three no roads around it. By the time you finish with all the lines, you know it's like tic tac toe. Yeah, There's nothing the left. Yeah. yeah. I, I think this is the only <clears throat> lot in the entire right. subdivision right. Yeah, around the perimeter right. that you have has it. such an effect on on, on it it's versus some of the other lots. That, right. You know, the first time I've ever dealt with three front yard setbacks. That's for sure. Yes. That's right. Different. Okay. okay yeah, that was the only question okay. I had. Great. Okay. Any other questions uh, from board members? Nope. Any other questions from uh, the public? Okay. Not seeing any. Is there a motion to close the public hearing? Motion. So, so moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Motion's carried. Uh, we have a resolution in front of us. Um, I know that, again, we were a little bit hampered because Felicia did uh, Yeoman's work here to, to, to get this updated for us this evening, and I think there was still some concern that we weren't quite there on some of the issues. <clears throat> I haven't gone through it yet, John, so uh, as I, I think we just saw it here when we landed. Um, but the intention is to move this forward if we can. Um, Bob, uh, Sabrina, Dennis, uh, have you had a chance to look at the resolution? Any, any issues or, or concerns or anything that we really need to fo uh, focus on? Again, John, you mentioned earlier today in, in a conversation that we could even do it verbally and that if we have to make whatever wordsmith uh, changes, et cetera, it's, uh, it would be okay. Right. Okay. I'm very comfortable moving forward. I think we all understand that the spirit of what we want to approve here, and um, if there needs to be some changes based on what we submitted or what we talked about tonight, uh, I'm sure we can approve it with those changes uh, in mind, correct? Good. Yep. Sounds good to me. Okay. And I think uh, I think we're all satisfied with the clearing grading limit lines that are now being proposed. Yes. We can work with these, right? So, um, okay. Is there then a motion to adopt the um, um, resolution? Uh, with the uh, caveat that uh, uh, that gave us? Motion. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Great. We're all set. Okay. On to the ZBA. Yeah. <laughs> Happy holiday. 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 Okay, we now have uh, our next item. This is an update to the board. This is on Chappaqua Crossing, East Village, 480 Bedford Road. This is an update as to the completed date or completed status or not completed status of the Sawmill Parkway and Rory Brook Road intersection improvements. Our understanding is that uh, they basically have been done, but we're waiting for the final sign off from the DOT. You stole my thunder, Mr. Chairman. But <laughs> good evening, uh, members of the board. Uh, my name is David Cooper, partner with the law firm Zarin and Steinmetz, here representing uh, Toll Brothers, the developer of the uh, residential component of the Chappaqua Crossing East Village. Uh, with me on uh, online is uh, Greg Otis from Toll Brothers. Um, we are here tonight for an update on the Sawmill River and uh, Flowing Brook Road uh, improvements, the, the uh, intersection improvements, as well as with a request to amend the uh, condition uh, of, of approval related to those improvements, which I see it's second on the agenda, so I can get to that in, in a second. Um, with respect to the, to the upgrades, uh, Summit, uh, SG Summit, who is the, the Uber developer, has completed all of the punch list items that the DOT provided to, to the developer. Uh, they have submitted their uh, closure paperwork to the DOT, and at this point, uh, we are awaiting DOT to, to close out the permit. Um, and so we're sort of stuck in, 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 in that, in that uh, uh, middle ground right now. Um, but uh, the, the work itself has, has been undertaken. Um, in the interim, uh, on the Toll Brothers side, they are still moving forward with, with obtaining building permits. At the, at the moment, uh, there are, uh, they're at their 56th building, building, building permit. And so as it stands right now, the condition of approval is uh, at the, uh, the 64th building permit would be the, the threshold. 
Um, and so what we're asking the board to do tonight is to amend that, that uh, condition to move it to 80 building permits and uh, 62 CFOs. Right now it's at 46 CFOs. Mm -hmm. um, the reason being is that we're, we're still moving forward at yep. a good pace. And you know, hopefully this will be the last time we're before you that, uh, that gets closed out. But um, you know, at this point, we're just waiting for DOT. Okay. Any thoughts, uh, comments, Sabrina, uh, Bob on this? No, I had uh, conversations, conversations with Tom, Tom and that's, that's a correct assessment. I had conversations with Andrelius, that's a correct assessment. So uh, we have no objection to the applicant's request from 62 up to 82. Okay. Comments? No comments from me, Mr. Chairman. Okay, thank you, Sabrina. Questions, comments? I mean, we still have our toe in the water. You got your toe in the water that we're dragging in there, but the toenail. And um, uh, but you know, in the meantime, we we we, we don't want to stress you, you know, for for what you need to do. So um, I guess we have um, the next thing is we have this amendment to the resolution uh, for approval and uh, expanding uh, the number to to those that you've uh, requested. Yeah. So is there a motion to adopt the uh, resolution? Uh, motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Good to see you. Thank yep. you very much. Happy holidays. Thanks. Happy holidays. Have a good one. You too. Yep. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. Thank, Thank you. you. So um, we're left with uh, two sets of minutes, maybe 1.5 sets a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, so we have the minutes of uh, November 21. I had a couple of minor things I'll, I'll just you know, send over to. Anyone have anything of material or substantive? Okay. If not, is there a motion to adopt the minutes of uh, November 21? Motion. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And so we're not doing the others? December 5? Okay. Um, and is there a motion then to close the meeting? Motion. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Aye. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.